we will study how to image the esophagus and stomach junction with ultrasound. The lower third of the esophagus is the most variable part. So, how do you image the very part that goes from the esophagus to the stomach with ultrasound? Studying to do. This is a central longitudinal scan. Last time, we studied how to longitudinally scan the left lobe of the liver. So I said that if you tilt the probe slightly to the left while scanning like this, you will see a picture like this. The left liver lobe is visible. You can see the stomach entrum here. Pancreas is visible. As the abdominal aorta passes, when the bifurcation of the celiac artery and the superior mesenteric artery is visible. Anterior to the abdominal aorta behind the liver. Hypoechoic on the outside like this. With this band life. Inside you can see this elongated structure, which is echogenic. This is where the esophagus gastric junction is, after all. To view the esophagus gastric junction, center the probe as it is now. The longitudinal scan should be at the 12 o'clock position. Then you will have a picture like the one you have now. Now the anatomy shows the left hepatic lobe. The left lateral margin is sharp. The abdominal aorta is visible. The superior mesenteric artery is visible. And the celiac artery exits like this. And the pancreas is being observed. The splenic veins were visible and invisible. If you go down a little, you will see the stomach body. The esophageal junction is right here in front of the abdominal aorta. And in the posterior left lobe of the liver. Hypoechoic band on the outside. Inside, it appears elongated in an echogenic pattern. This is the esophagus gastric junction.